video but before we get into it i need you to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notification hit your thumbs up button comment down below so today um i'm going to be reinstalling one of my um old wigs and so the wig i'm gonna be reinstalling i just had it on not too long ago and i'm actually supposed to be getting it professionally reinstalled um in a couple days so i'm not gonna go too crazy but i just wanted y'all to show the process because i just wanted to try it out and take y'all along with me and so let's go ahead and get into the video <laughs> Hey y'all so right now as you can see I'm about to reveal the nonsense that's been under my head oh my goodness Ooh -wee. so now I go in with a wig cap and I have this edge booster and I'm just gonna go ahead and push my edges back as best I can I don't really know if this works or not but ladies and gentlemen this is what I see people do so I'm gonna do it too I'm gonna go ahead and put my wig cap on and um, it fits nice and securely and then I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my ears out once I put on this got to be spray glue. So I just spray around my edges in the areas as you can see it's so cold. Anybody that sprayed this on your head y'all know it be cold. And this is of course the glue that I use. And now right now I'm just trying to loosen up the parts that are more for it towards my forehead. Because I don't really want it to be all sticking in those areas. And then I go in with my little blow dryer. Get it dry, or you can let it air dry. Everybody's preference is different. Um, I actually was going somewhere, so I didn't have time to kind of like take take my time. But um, like I said, I go in and I cut my ears. Um, some people don't cut their ears. Some people just leave it. I don't really know. And then now, <laughs> and now, sorry if you hear my baby in the background. But now I'm going ahead and trace out my um, my forehead edges. I don't really know if there's a specific pattern you're supposed to do. But the girl I seen, she just cut it because she was covering it up with the wig. And hey, <laughs> you can't complain about that. So right now I'm just trying to get it as close as I can and as neat as I can on both sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my makeup. Please excuse my hands for being this ashy. But... Um, I'm using my NARS foundation and I'm just going to put it all over my scalp just so we can get a nice little blend so it can blend more in with my skin on the parts and stuff. And again, like I said, this is just what I be seeing the girls on my Instagram, the girls in the tutorials that I watch, they all be doing this. And the girl who did my own hair. I washed my lace the day before and so I'm going ahead and putting it on, matching up how I want it, depending on how you want the part. I try to keep the part that the girl did on my hair in the first place so that way I wouldn't have to kind of like repart it because then this would have been really bad. Now I'm going ahead and I'm, you know, kind of like pinning the hair back. I guess so it don't be in the way. And then I have my ghost bond glue. Tell me what kind of glue you guys use. But I'm just putting it on. And the girl that I watched, she um, she put it in the middle first. She said because it kind of keeps everything secure. And I guess you're supposed to wait until it's white. And so I waited as long as I could for it to be white. And then I tried to blow dry it to speed up the process. But it was like burning my forehead. So I kind of stopped. As you can see, it's a little bit white over there. And I went ahead and did my sides just to kind of lay them down. And then I went back in, punched it over with a comb, and then went over it again with the blow dryer. Just trying to speed the process up for me. A lot of people, you know, patience is virtue if you want a good hairstyle, but your girl was rushing. And so now um, I'm still just picking it down, trying to let it dry, trying to make sure everything's looking right and feeling right. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay these bad boys down. It's like I'm literally contemplating, like, am I about to mess this up? Is it ready yet? No, it's not. So now I have my edge control brush, and you see I went ahead and put both sides down. And now we have my beautiful mousse that I'm just now making up stuff as I go because this is what I be seeing the people do. And I got my little hot comb kind of just to push in the direction that I want it to go. I really don't know what this do. Like, does this melt the lace? Guys, like, I'm learning and telling you guys as I go. I just watch tutorials and 
I really don't understand it fully and completely. But so far, it's not looking that bad to me. Comment down below what you think. I'm pretty sure you guys can probably do better than me, but you got to start somewhere, right? And so um, now that I kind of have the size down, it's time to actually do my edges. And um, guys, I would just not advise anybody to follow me when it comes down to edges. As you can see, I'm kind of just stuck. I really don't know what I'm doing. And so you guys are literally about to watch me make this up as I go. <laughs> All right, so now that the edge control situation is now handled, I'm just going in with a spray bottle. Again, as you guys can see, this is very important. Go ahead and subscribe while you're here. And a like comment down below. And I'm just kind of working the water through trying to get it all wet as I can just to kind of get like it's kind of tangled even though I washed it the day before and then I use this herbal comb out that um I I think my sister put me on to and I actually like it it does this little job like it's supposed to um this is one of the most easiest hairstyles that are kind of like for me to maintain in a way um this is new hair though I haven't really used this kind of um hair from this company I don't want to say their name yet um, but right now I'm just working it through as much as I can and then it's gonna be time to reveal the main look cut this off and now I'm looking at my head like all right Oop. and then I get a little something stuck in my head but it's okay y'all it's okay we're just looking at the main look right now okay every person has their little flaws and so yeah I hope you guys like it and hey, tell me so what you this think. is the final look um I just touched it up a little bit. It's like actually ugly outside, so I'm not really going anywhere today. But I just thought, why not, you know, install it. We're not gonna get too close because I ain't gonna lie, y'all, my baby hairs, I stuck at them. As y'all see, I literally stopped midway through. I just needed it to look a little bit presentable. See, far, from far away, it's like a something I can work with. Definitely can kind of take some pictures and, you know what I'm saying, do a little something, something. But like, am I gonna be confident, confident enough to like, walk to somebody and be like, hey, what's up? Should I even be walking to people with social distancing? No. But you get what I'm trying to say. So, I feel like I did. <laughs> I feel like I did okay. Definitely have some um, work to do. But progress. Okay. Okay. Definitely think about to take some classes for about two weeks straight. I can get this down pegged. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and rate my reinstallment. 1 through 10. Definitely have to work on baby hairs. I do not know what I'm doing. I'm not a professional hairstylist. Never have did hair ever in my life. Literally. So, hope you guys enjoy. Um, I would not take my directions to do your hair. You just have to be okay that you're going to need to mess up your wig or going to lose methods. That's the chance that I just took today. <laughs> but I love you guys. Wouldn't be here without you. And I'm out.